Hey guys, what's up again? Yeah, Nuts Models here. I wanted to do the next model review as promised when I did my TNT. This is the second model that came after it. it this is of the Caribbean Airlines Boeing 737-800 with the blended winglets. Uh, this plane was the same price as the TNT, so I also used my Tempersona. It was a good deal. Uh, I like the 737-800. I used to like the 700 more, but the 800's caught on to more of me. Uh, more of me now. I guess because it's a little longer, bigger plane, more of it. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy this model review. I'll try and get into as much detail as I can, and uh, here we go. We have the cockpit uh, windows, windshield wipers, the radome, pitot tubes. We have the front landing gear, part of the registration. Now one boarding door. <coughs> we have the uh, billboard titles, Freeman Airlines. Caribbean Airlines on the side of the engine cowling. Front, we have the uh, inboard landing light. These are the CFM 56 7 26 engines. 26 stands for the amount of thrust, so 26,000 pounds. Top collision beacon, leading edge, we have the winglet. Navigation light, we have our little lamp right there. On the winglets are painted our uh, hummingbird wings. The airline part, we have the overwing emergency exits with the arrows, flap cowling, spoilers, ailerons. <laughs> Registration is 9Y-TAB or 9 Yankee-Tango Alpha Bravo. We have the uh, flags of Trinidad and Chicago together. Um, get a little closer. We have the Hummingbird on the tail, which is pretty cool. Um, this model was released by JC Wings, I believe it was about a year or two ago, somewhere between there. Um, they do use the Gemini mold now, which, at least for the 1-200s, is definitely an improvement. Uh, take a quick look at the front. Landing gear doors, landing light. We have the engines, which are, you can see through. Main gear. That's beautiful. Let's take a look from the other side. Yeah, sorry about the glare, guys. This always happens with most of the models because the, the, the white background doesn't really help that much. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. We have the bottom antenna. We have the uh, number two engine, upper antenna, collision beacon. Everything's on the same except we have the front and rear cargo doors. We have the green navigation light over here. Take a quick look at the back. Is the APU, vertical and horizontal stabilizers. Look below, take a quick look at the bottom for the plane. <coughs> Excuse me. We have the APU access doors, bottom antenna, other bottom antenna. We have the landing gear bay doors, bottom collision beacon stand hole. This is a pretty cool model. Uh, let me show you the cover for the box. You saw the box for the TNT. I know it's basically just a white box. This is the cover for it. This is a really nice model. If you can find it anywhere, buy it. I don't care. Uh, just make sure it, it's not missing or broken or anything. Um, this airline was basically born from what was left over of uh, BWI or British West Indies Airlines. When they ended up shutting down, Caribbean basically took over. Uh, they uh, Caribbean also bought Air Jamaica about a year or two after they started up so they actually have one 737 painted in the Air Jamaica colors which is pretty cool I'm hoping somebody releases that I'd love to get my hands on it yeah, it's a pretty cool model I love the 737 800 uh, it's a really nice model um, if you guys can get it uh, please do so this is a great model <clears throat> excuse me this looks like I have a visitor today Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the model review. Um, I know it's a bit short, but I like to keep it short and sweet. That way you guys get to see it. Um, I know there's tons of other models. Oh, um, I know Phoenix made a 6-7-300 and the 737-800. They did, I believe the 6-7s released. Uh, they used to fly those to uh, Europe from where they were. <coughs> Just something I forgot to mention. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the model review. Uh... 
leave any comments, like, subscribe, whatever you like to do. If I screwed up anything, please tell me. I'd rather be right than wrong. Um, my next model I'm going to do is of the Dynamic Air 767-200ER. That was the last model I purchased from the uh, JC Blowout Sale at Waffle Collectibles. Hope you guys look forward to that. And I'll be doing some comparison videos between the TNT 734 and this 738. Then I'm going to do the 738 and then the Max, uh, Southwest Max, 737 Max 8. So you guys can see all the differences. Anyway guys, have a wonderful day and peace out.